Hello, everybody, YouTube world, Facebook world, anywhere you guys are checking in on me and my brother, Ron. My name is Coach Clef. I'm with Ron, and we are the Mobility, the Mobility Bros. Bros. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Love it. Uh, honestly, enjoyed having our conversation right before we hit the record button. Um, we know, guys, if you don't know, check out some of the videos that we have posted prior um, we'd love for you to look at what we've done so far, some of the amazing guests that we've had on the show. We talk about athletic mindset. We talk about mobility. We share about pain reduction and pain management, the thoughts and process of pack practitioners, and the mindsets of our clients and our members. Um, today's topic is going to be a topic that's a little spicy. It seems to be a little spicy um, uh, because it's always that thing right like who what's better where's better but before i get into all of this stuff i think i've talked long enough ron how are you bro i'm doing good man you know uh so this topic we're going to talk about is really really interesting because it's it's extremely controversial and you know what um i've been focusing on this topic which is cardio versus strength and i've been really splitting my time with my training training for my physique competition doing both um, and, and, uh, you know, when we take a deep dive into this, we're going to talk about the differences and, um, and at the end of the day is, is, is it worth doing both or creating that balance? So, uh, so yeah, I'm really, I'm, I'm really excited to talk about this topic. I actually posted something on Instagram and I got, I got a little, I got a little bit of kickback. So. Thank you guys for commenting. We appreciate it. Keep it coming. You know, Ron, what's that Instagram handle? Uh, it's, it's, it's B underscore legendary underscore athletic apparel dot com. So it's all underscores in between. But yeah, it's it's you see it's the awesome. shirt. You see the hoodie. You see the clothing line. Shout yeah. out to the sponsors. We appreciate you always. Be legendary apparel and uh, fitness essentials. Shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for sponsoring the show. Cardio versus strength training. Hmm. I, why do we put versus? You just mentioned like you do both. Most people tend yeah. to do both, right? Yeah. yeah. And it's a combination of things depending on where, where they're going. But when we think most people in our bubble, it's like the people we train, the people we see in the gym, the people we're trying to convince to stop renting the treadmills and use some strength equipment, yeah. you know? like uh, Yeah. But what do you think the masses think? Like the overall population? Are they yeah. one versus so, the other? So there is, there is you know, so... Do you remember the Michael Jackson video "Beat It" where they had they were doing the dance and they were battling like this? They had yeah. the knives. <laughs> I look at it like one size cardio, one size strength, right? You know, yeah. the battling. Just insert, yeah, beat it. Insert the beat meme. It, beat it. <laughs> no one can defeat it. Defeat it. Yeah. Ah, right. Yeah. So exactly. I really do think that you know there there is such thing as a balance, but I also believe that there is a headbutt between. Um, both co both ecosystems, right? Like mm. you got these guys that are straight up meatheads in strength training, and then they don't believe in people that do cardio. Then you have these people that just do cardio, and they're they're chomping at the bits at people that just strength train, right? But at the end of the day, there is equal balance. But but when you get into the science of both, you know, um, cardio does cardiovascular does increase VO two. It does help with um. It does, increase, it. yep, and and you do burn, you do burn fat, you do burn calories, but then with strength mm -hmm. training, you do burn more, um, you, you do burn more, if, 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 is it more, and more calories over time in a 24 hour period, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, so it's a slow burn. So that's why, you know, that people say you do burn more strength training than you do with, with, with cardio. Um, so I mean I I got uh this quote um if you're and and, and then just a quote of things it's just, it's this is more geared towards weight loss this came from um article Cardwell Health Car Carwell Carewell Carewell well Carewell Health um if your goal is don't mind him guys he's fasting he is hungry yeah <laughs> I'm hungry yeah I'm this hungry I'm about to I I chew up my arm. This is uh, what it looks like with caloric deficit. <laughs> your goal is weight loss. You you want to burn calories and burn muscle mass. Um, so for optimal benefit, you should incorporate both cardio and training into your 
exercise routine. So, but what, like, let me hear about your, what is your feedback mostly about cardio versus, um, uh, a strength training? Like, what is your, what is your professional opinion or feedback? I think that, um, they're very important to understand because they're systems of the body, right? You have your anaerobic system and aerobic system, your anaerobic system is going to be the strength training side of things where um where you're still huffing and puffing it still can be high intensity but it's not particularly focused on cardiovascular system as much as it's focused on the muscular system nervous system and um skeletal system i would argue that both both things impact all systems right because if you're lifting super heavy and you're breathing and you're holding your breath you could pass out so there's breathing techniques needed absolutely there's all sorts of techniques needed absolutely. when you're strength training that requires a good and healthy and functional cardiovascular system in order for it to support the heavy lifts the power moves the the fast twitch explosions right because we're always using adp and atp yeah. So we always need to consume that oxygen, digest that oxygen, turn it into these things that give our muscles power to explode, whether we're sprinting, long distance running, benching 205 or 225 or 5,000 or whatever you guys are doing, or balancing on 12 different things on Instagram while holding a bench press and, you know, all the crazy stuff we do. I think that people need to do more and and less or. Because I think osteoporosis, things that require strength training and resistance training to um, support like some systems like your bone system, you know, increase bone density. Yeah. Exactly. It's very important that you strength train because that's specifically going to help support that, especially if you're a runner and you're pounding on your legs and you're hitting the pavement and you're doing the marathons over and over and over again. Because as you age, you'll feel you can get uh, bursitis or all sorts of different things that can happen with meniscus being worn and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I think swimming, when people think cardiovascular or anything, swimming, you know, my, my wife and I was watching a Netflix show about a woman who uh, a documentary slash TV re reincarnation thing. You know how they do those things. Yeah. And this woman swim the ocean. I right? know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. You know, right. Right. Yeah, and so it's like. 50. You can't tell me she ain't fit, bro. You can't tell me she's not insanely mentally, emotionally strong willed and her body isn't in, in peak condition to be able to suffer through the cold, the salt, the, all the different things, the belly, the, the jelly beast things or the jellyfish things, all those things. So am I on one side versus the other? Personally, I'm a bulky guy, right? I'm a big guy. I'm, I hang out in a 200 club. So I like strength training. Um, I like strength training because I get it. It connects with me. Uh, there's something about trying to perfect my form while doing something that's causing me to be off balance or or something that requires my testosterone and natural strength and push. Uh, but there are times where I'm doing cardio and I feel that same kind of push through it. The endurance runs, the the long hikes, the the the, the jog sprints, the, you know, the burpees, the, those things that just require strong mental fortitude and the endurance to be able to get up again. It's really important. So I, I respect both. I hang out in the strength club, but I think, you know, as I get older, I'm going to look at other opportunities to do cardiovascular work because I just don't want to always run on the cement. I don't, right. I don't want to I agree. My knees I agree. The and there's so many there's so many different uh variations of what you can do for for cardiovascular endurance work um well i, I actually want to read uh a, a, a message i got back from someone on instagram which was i thought was pretty cool so i put out a funny meme y'all a funny meme about <laughs> people, who just do, people who just do uh cardio right and yeah. i said um so it was i you know the meme was something like this me when someone tells me all they do is cardio and no strength training and then if you see the meme it said wow i live in atlanta make believe that was the the meme right <laughs> so i got a response back from someone it was actually really good and professional he said 
Both are important and both sides refuse to see the benefits of either. Just have to point out that even if lift, lifting burns more calories, uh, cardio will raise your VO2 max and make you more efficient at burning fat. So, uh, so I thought, and I and I said, and then I responded back. I said, I really appreciate it and thank you for that feedback. So, uh, so it was just interesting. Like, like we were talking about different views and people how people feel, you know, and 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 you know, and, and it's great. I said that's probably one of the first responses I've ever really got back from anything I've ever put out there, and it didn't turn into an argument. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can debate. So yeah. I asked AI. I asked AI. I said AI. What do you think, cardio versus uh, weight training? And of course, it gave us um, an AI example, AI answer, right? So, this cardio exercise like running, cycling, swimming, and jumping rope are designed to increase your heart rate and enhance the efficiency of your cardiovascular system. These exercises primarily aim to improve endurance, increase heart and lung health, burn calories, which is energy, and boost overall stamina. Some people need that stamina. Yeah. <laughs> As we get older, keep up that stamina. Uh, they are excellent for improving cardiovascular health and promoting fat loss. Yes. And what they don't talk about much is like if you're really in a caloric deficit, you're not training and you're just doing cardio, there's muscle loss too. Don't be fooled. Yeah. You don't feed that muscle, you lose that muscle. You don't push yeah. that muscle and keep that muscle fighting and wanting to grow and adapt. You will lose that muscle. Yeah, listen, I've seen body mass. I've seen people who are hardcore runners, and they turn sideways and they look like this. <laughs> it's it's like yeah, it's like it's oh my god, their skin is falling off. It's like they have no muscle, right? And the concept of of, of weight training is like you you weight you lift you break down the muscle and then when you sleep that muscle rebuilds right it's like it recovers and rebuilds right so it's constantly growing you know and i i remember years ago i read an article about if if long distance runners should weight train and at the end of the article it was like yes they should right yes. you know and 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 there's there's always been this misconception with um hardcore runners that if they you know because the, the, everything with them is based on time right that it, is it's, it's it's about time, but if they, they're time and they're, distance, yeah, time and distance. But they're in their head is like, well, if I weight train, um, and I'm not saying this is all long distance running, but if I weight train, it'll put more muscle and it'll slow me down, you know. So it's always been that misconception, right? But if you, you know, but you know, at the end of the day, I think, I think at the end of, end of what we're going to be getting at is that it, it just comes down to balance, right? You got to create that balance. Um, and I noticed, I noticed there's a little bit of difference between some of my, um. Uh, people who just run versus people who actually are triathletes. So some of the triathletes, they they actually have a little bit more muscle mass on uh, on their body. And I do think it's because, and, and I have one triathlete, she doesn't even weight train at all, but she looks, she almost looks like a bodybuilder, but it's because she's she's got that resistance in the ocean. She's got that resistance on the bike. I mean, it's, it's a lot of, you know, she's got a lot of like, um, uh, anaerobic that she gets a little bit of that anaerobic work while she's while she's um training and competing right mm -hmm. um but i got i got a little something here from um crunch fitness they put out um crunch what up crunch yeah crunch fitness um what burns more calories cardio or strength training and it says cardio is fantastic for burning ca uh calories while you train according to british journal of nutrition you could burn up to 20 percent more body fat by running in the in the morning on an empty stomach later in the day, follow this up while um, complete strength and fitness workout and weights. Um, the combination of strength training with cardio can really help maximize weight loss results. Um, another important and to be mindful is 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 your, is of what you're eating. So diet also plays. That also pays an important part of like what you're doing and how you feel in your body when you're doing either or. Mm. I I hear that fasting cardio all the time. I know people yeah. who live by it. Like they don't eat until 11 or 12. They hit the gym at 630. They do their walk with their heavy vest. Um, they're cutting. They look great. They're working hard. And then they go strength train. 
or they'll hit the protein shake, then straight train, or they'll hit the pre workout, then straight train, whatever their system is. Yeah, and I, everyone has a system. Yeah. And everyone, ha when you have a system and you follow a system, it feels good. You know, and again, this is not about body shaming. We are not body shaming. We support everyone. Uh, we want people to be comfortable with food and comfortable in their bodies and aware that um, there's places out there that will help if there's um, addiction to running or addiction to the gym and you know you need to to get back to life or, or reconnect. But there is something really to be said with com combining the two instead of fighting against each other or, yeah. or and that's with so many practices, right? Like Pilates, yoga, strength training, um, playing basketball, going biking like your dad used to do when you talked about in the one of yeah. those episodes, right? Like there's so much there. So if you have the time to train for a marathon and you found that time, then when the marathon's over, you should have some time and it'd probably be less time, you know, 40 minutes of strength training, you know, three times a week or every 72 hours can just help you maintain. And when I think about what you mentioned with the muscle and slowing down, look at Hussein Bolt. Shout out to Jamaica. Shout out to the, Jamaica you know, the, the no running. yo, big ups for real. Like seriously, that guy, he's not some little thin 400, you know, 100 meter sprinter. He's solid. And yes, I know I see a lot of the, the, the long distance runners, not as solid as him, of course, but they still have strong muscle density and understand that they need to move and strength train. Uh, they understand the nutrition and how to carb load and, and runners will understand this too, you know? And I think when it comes to the carb loading runners versus the protein lifters, I think there's so many things that happen when we think about it, that's just like divisive and everybody wants to be on a team. Uh, but if we unite, I think we could be healthier overall and stronger overall, have stronger bones overall, and still get to enjoy these things and, you know, not suffer mm -hmm. the experience of I can't run anymore because I damaged something. So now I have to strength train when you might have been able to strengthen those muscles and, and prepare the ligament for the pounding through strength training so you can keep running. You know what I mean? All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and like I said earlier, I think at the end of the day, it just comes down to balance and I think everyone has to accept it, but I mean, you, you know, you get some guys who are just like the meatheads. I call them meatheads, right there. <laughs> they will. They just look at cardio as like, oh my god, really? That's all I, you, you know? Um, <laughs> it's like, dude, don't yeah. be hot, you know? I mean, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I mean, I have my, you know, I did have my little opinion about. I did put that out there. Just people who just do that, but I, I mean, I'm a strength train guy, just like you. Um, but at the end of the day, I really do believe in balance. You know, I have other forms of way where I do endurance training. I do, you know, I, focus, I do kettlebell swings, snatches. I'm a kettlebell expert. That's one of my jams. Um, and and I to me, that's a balance of endurance and strength training all in one, right? So you got that resistance, you got that load, and you got the resistance. And um, kettlebell swing, two-hand swing, if you got the proper flow and the proper hip, um, it's, it's, it, it, you know, you go heavy, you know, that downswing, that downswing with a 24 kilo bell is equivalent, yeah. to, is equivalent to like a 500 pound deadlift, man. It's, it's like you, when you're, when you're doing your, you're, 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 you're it's like that, all that momentum coming up and down, you get it. You're going to get, you're going to get the, the strength. You're going to get the power. You're going to get the endurance. You're going to get the explosion, you know, all mm. the things you need. You know, like if I'm working with a football player playing off the line, that's the only that's the one thing I teach them is how to do that, you know, because it'll it helps bring their endurance up, gets their strength up and it helps them explode off the ground. Yeah, yeah, 100 percent. The power of the hip hinge is huge and it helps us dunk. It helps us fly. Uh, let's let's make sure we don't forget. I asked AI about weightlifting, too, of course, and weightlifting. It says weightlifting, also known as resistance or strength training involves exercise using free weights, machines, resistance bands, or body weight to build strength, muscle mass, and bone density. Everything we've said, it knows because it reads our minds. It's primarily focused. I'm trying to read this like an AI, by the way. It's primarily focused on creating resistance and muscle to work against lead leading uh, to, wait, 
resistance resistance for muscle to work against leading to muscle development that's confusing improve bone strength and increase mobile uh, metabolism which is why i like strength training weightlifting exercises aid in shaping and toning toning we're still trying to figure out how to phrase that right the body while also enhancing overall strength and functionality both cardio and weight training in conclusion are critically critical components to an overall well-rounded fitness regime combining both types of exercise can provide comprehensive benefits enhancing overall health fitness everything we just talked about yeah yeah so whether you believe us human beings spouting at you on youtube you the person watching or you want to ask chat gpt or ask jeeves or google you're gonna find the information that we're saying is historically accurate based on what we now know about the body and there's going to be more information about the body right what's going on with meniscus tears there's a lot of them piriformis issues man that became a whole thing um sciatica and sciatic pain right uh plantar fasciitis oh if you ever had that that's an issue there are also going to be things about the heart and the atrium and ventricle of the heart and you know also the brain connection and there's so much to learn we barely know all there is to know about the human physique and the human body and i'm excited to stay on this journey because i think we're miraculous space human beings that yeah. god has blessed us with and i'm super psyched about being a part of this reality this consciousness and sharing with you absolutely absolutely you got any final finals on the topic nah man i mean to conclude um really just conclude um you need both for balance you really do need both for balance i mean um the article i pulled up said that the 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 ai system said that the you know you just you just need both for balance you know and um you know i, I I could be a little stubborn with that because sometimes I get in my point where I get in my little catch up in my little feelings where I'm like, I ain't doing no real cardio today, you know, and just want to strength. But at the end of the day, um, I, I'm just concluding that we, it, you do need balance and you just got to find out what cardio or strength training fits in your lifestyle. That's beautiful. And I want to say for my final, final, make sure you're having fun, go out there, enjoy what you're doing. If you like swimming, find a pool club, if you like playing soccer, go shoot some soccer balls. If you like uh, walking and hiking in the woods, there are beautiful places all over the world to see. Have fun and enjoy it. If you want to lift rocks or cannonballs with handles <laughs> or you want to go to a gym and use some equipment, do it responsibly, do it smart, get educated, especially if this isn't a field that you're educated in because you can learn so much about your body and find the right people. Here at Fitness Essentials, we love working with people. Uh, we man mainly work with people in their 50s and up, 40s as well. But we work with everyone. We've worked with everyone for two decades. And so if there's some question you may have, leave it in the comments below. Share with us so that we can help enlighten you and share with you our knowledge. All right? Thank you so much, Ron. You know what to do, brother. All right. I want you to stay awesome. Keep stepping the grace and be legendary. Have the most amazing legendary day. And uh, take care for now. See you later.